Lesson 5.10, write equations to represent two-digit subtraction word problems. We can write an equation, that's a number sentence, to represent a word problem. We read the problem carefully, then we use the given information to fill in parts of the equation. Then we can solve for the missing number. To solve a word problem, we read it carefully, circle important information. We figure out what do we need to find? What is it asking of us? We look for addition or subtraction clue words. We write an equation and we solve it and check our answer. So here are some subtraction clue words. These are words that will be in a word problem that'll help us to know the operation we need to use is subtraction. And we originally learned about addition clue words in video 4.10, and that's linked in the description. So some subtraction clue words are how many more than, how much more than, how many left, how many still, take away, went away, gave away, minus, fewer than, less than, left over, difference, and ER words, longer than, shorter than, faster than, slower than. Those are all clue words that the operation we need to use is subtraction. Writing an equation, that's a number sentence, to show a problem. It says there are 54 cows in the pasture. A pasture is a field. 21 cows go into the barn. How many cows are still in the pasture? Do you see the clue words? How many still? And we think we know this is a subtraction because we start with 54 cows and 21 go away to the barn. And we think we have 54 to start, 21 go into the barn, and it's equal to this box. We need to find out what the box is equal to. And we can rewrite it as 54 minus 21 in place value columns. We have one, we need to take four away. That's easy, that's three. We have five and we need to take two away. That's easy, that's three. So that's 33 are still in the pasture. And we can check our subtraction by adding the difference and the subtrahend together and if it equals the minuend, we know we got the right answer. So the answer is 33 cows are still in the pasture. And this square is equal to 33. So this is the note to the parents. We use this square, this box, to represent an unknown number to prepare students to use variables such as n, x, y as unknown numbers in algebra. I know in third grade math, we use n to represent an unknown amount. It's telling us to write a number sentence for the problem and use a box for the missing number, then solve. It says, there were 35 bees in the hive, 17 bees flew away. How many bees are in the hive now? Do you see the subtraction clue words? Flew away, how many now? We think we know this is subtraction because we start with 35 and 17 flew away. We have 35, 17 flew away. We need to find the difference. And we think we can rewrite it so it's stacked in place value columns. We can do 5, take away 7. We can't. We, 5 isn't big enough. It's not great enough. So. We regroup from the tens place. This three becomes a two tens, and the five ones becomes 15 ones. 15 minus seven is eight. Two tens minus one ten is one ten. That means it's 18. We can check our math. We can add the difference and the subtrahend together, and if they equal 35, we know we did it correctly. If it equals the minuen, that means there are 18 Bs in the hive now. 35 minus 17 is equal to this box. It, this box represents 18 bees. 
Bob read 47 pages in his book. Dave read 34 pages in his book. How many more pages did Bob read than Dave? See the subtraction clue words? How many more? We think we know this is subtraction because we are comparing two amounts. The number of pages Bob read to the number of pages Dave read. We need to find the difference between the two amounts. We have 47 minus 34 is going to equal this box. And the box is going to represent how many more pages that Bob read. We can stack it. We write it as 47 minus 34. We start with the ones place. 7 minus 4 is 3. 4 tens minus 3 tens is 1 ten. That's 13. And we can double check our work by adding the difference and the subtrahend together. And if it equals the minuend, we know we did it correctly. That means he read 13 more pages. The box represents 13 more pages. Alicia bought a box of muffins. She took 26 muffins out of the box. There were 16 muffins still in the box. How many muffins were in the box to start? And we think we know the part she took out of the box, that was 26, and we know the part that is still in the box, that's 16. We're missing the hole. That means we have this blue box representing the hole minus the 26 muffins is equal to the 16 that are still in the box. We can use a related addition sentence to solve. We have some number minus 26 is equal to 16. If we add the difference and the subtrahend, that'll give us the minuend. We have 26 plus 16. 6 plus 6 is 12. We regroup a 10 and put the 2 in the 1's place. We have 2, 3, 4. That's 42. We can double check it. We can do 42 minus 16. We have a 2 and need to take 6 away, and we can't. So this 4 10's becomes a 3 10's. This 2 1's becomes 12 1's. 12 minus 6 is 6. 3 10's minus 1 10 is 2 10's. Yes, we did our math correctly. That means there must have been 42 muffins to start. Sometimes you'll see problems that have many possible answers, and you just need to choose one that will be correct. This problem says there are 40 lockers in the school hallway. If fewer than 10 lockers are empty, how many lockers could be used? We think fewer than 10 means less than 10 are empty. So the empty ones could be 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, even 0. 0 is fewer than 10. So there are 40 lockers. It has to be fewer than 10, so it has to be one of these numbers. If there are 9 that are empty, that means 31 are used because 31 and 9 make 40. 40 minus 9 is equal to 31. And as the empty locker numbers go down by 1, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, the used ones are going to go up by 1. That way, they'll be 40. So any one of these could be chosen as a correct answer. And remember, 0 is fewer than 10, so it could be 0. All 40 lockers could be used, and it could be 0 that are empty. Remember, we can turn a sheet of lined paper sideways to keep place values in their correct column. That way, we'll have less of a chance of making a mistake. And when you're reading word problems, look for clue words that'll tell you whether you need to subtract or to add. That will help you write your equation. It'll tell you which operation you should use. In our next lesson, 5.11, we're going to solve multi-step word problems using bar models. Keep trying the best you can. Keep staying strong. And I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.